Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number five, day number five. The problems are already on the blackboard. I'm going to read them to you as always, just in the event that you have trouble with my handwriting. And then I want you to solve the problem yourself. If a equals 2, b equals 5, c equals 4, x equals 1, y equals 3, and z equals 0, what are the values of the following expressions? 9xy, 7xy, y raised to a, 4b squared, c raised to a, x raised to y, y squared times z squared, 3x squared, b raised to a, a times b times c times z. I want you to pause the video. Solve the problems yourselves, and once you have the answer, you can resume it. All right, let's get going then. Number one. Nine times x times y. Nine times x, which is one times y which is 3, 9 times x times 1 which is 27. Number 2, 4 times b squared, b is 5, 4 times 5 squared, 5 squared is 25, 25 times 4 is 100. Next one, 3 times x squared which is just 1, 1 squared is 1 so the whole thing is just 3 because 1 squared is 1, 3 times 1 is 1, or 3 times 1 is 3. Number 4, 7 times xy, let's put a demarcation. We used this word before, a couple of days ago, demarcate. What does it mean? Demarcate means to put a boundary around something, to put a border around something, to separate something like, like I just did. Demarcate. And we learned this word. I covered this word on day number 12. Just type in Keshwani prep dash vocab dash day 12 and you will learn it. Number 4. 7 times x times y. 7 times x which is 1 times y which is 3. So it's just 7 times 3 which is 21. Number 5. This is c with the power of x. Let's do number 5 separately because I want to talk about it. Number 5. If you have something like this, just like as I explained to you before, just like in any language, sometimes there are several different ways of saying the same thing, of conveying the same idea. Uh, he passed away, he is deceased, he died, he kicked the bucket. They all mean the same thing. There are four different ways I just used to express the same idea, even though the last one wasn't so, so nice. But same idea. He passed away. He, de he, he, he deceased. He, he, he died. He is dead. He is no longer alive. He has uh, gone to see the maker, whatever you want to say. It. He, has, he has kicked the bucket, as I said. Just like in the language, there are several different ways sometimes of saying the same thing conveying the same idea. Similarly, algebra is a language. And therefore, in algebra sometimes, there are several different ways of saying the same thing, expressing the same idea. This can be read in several different ways. You can read this as 5 cubed, or you can read this as 5 raised to 3. Or, if you wish, you could read this as 5 times times 5 times 5 and nobody's going to argue with you because that's what that is. This thing is 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 times 5. Or you can say it is 5 cubed. Or you can say 5 raised to 4. Or 5 to the third power. 5 to the third power. There you go, 5, you see 5 raised, raised to 3. 3 being, 
what, 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 what people mean to say is that 5 raised to 3 as in raised to the third power. But they're lazy sometimes. And instead of saying 5 raised to the third power, they simply say 5 raised to 3. 5 raised to 3. 5 cubed. How did I get into this thing? Oh, number 5. Number 5 is this. How do we read it? This can be read as C raised to A. C raised to A. O C Well, if you want to read this this way here, then this is tricky because we don't have the value for A. So you'll have to say C multiplied by itself how many times? A times, whatever the A happens to be. But you wouldn't read it like that because it's very awkward, it's very cumbersome. So we read it as C raised to A. That's it. C raised to A. How much is C? C is 4. How much is A? A is 2. C raised to A turns out to be 4 raised to 2. 4 raised to 2 because it's only 2. We can read this as 4 squared. Or 4 times 4 which is 16. Number 6. Again, B raised to A. B raised to A. That's how you would rate it. B raised to A. How much is B? B is 5 raised to A, which is 2, 5 squared. 5 squared simply means 5 multiplied by itself. How many times? 2 times, which is same as 5 times 5. 25. Number 7. What was 7? Y raised to A. Y raised to A. I don't know why I had to put it in such a childish way that we're making a choo choo train. Y raised to A. Which is the same as Y squared. Oh, but what is Y? Y is 3. Y is 3. So it's 3 squared, which is same as 3 times 3, which is 9. Number 8. I need the room, so I need to raise everything. Number 8. Feeling rather proud of myself for coming up with he kicked the bucket. I don't know where that came from, it came out of nowhere. Sometimes it doesn't take much to amuse myself. That is, I amuse myself. Number eight. But not in the way that you might be thinking, you understand? X raised to y. X is one. One raised to y, which is three. One raised to three is simply one times one times one. 1 times 1 times 1, which is just going to be 1. Number 9. A times B times C times Z. A times B times C times Z. Oh, that's a 0. I was hoping that I would see the bloody zero because I, I was not in the mood to multiply this bloody thing out even though it's not that difficult. It's just 2 times 4 which is 10, two oh, sorry, 2 times 5 which is 10 times 4 would be 40. It's not a big deal. But still, whatever, whatever the hell it is, this quantity times zero would be zero because any quantity times zero is zero. So the whole thing is just zero. And finally number 10 which was y squared times z squared, or I see the z again, which is 0. z we are told is 0. 0 squared would be 0 because 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. And therefore, since this is 0, this quantity 0 times this quantity would be 0. So the whole thing is 0. That's it. That's it. We are done for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 6. All right? If you wish to get hold of me, in the meantime, go to any of these website addresses and send me an email as to how I can help you. Or you can go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. I will see you tomorrow on day number 6. Today was the end of day number 5. Today was day number 5, not 4. 
Oh, it's a good thing I noticed at the very end. Day number five. I noticed it because I was about to make a comment that since I'm planning to go for 50 days, we have already done one-tenth of our way. I'll see you tomorrow.